You're listening to On Stage Presents Theater, Actors and Actresses, Singer and Songwriters, Local Bands, and what a great show we've got for you on this week's episode. Hello everyone, and I'm here, very, very excited about this, because I'm here with um, Devon and Charlotte from the Cody Musical Theatre Company, and you're going to talk about Rent. Yes, your latest we show. are. But before we do that, we want to talk about Cody, because you've just celebrated 100 years. We have. We were very lucky to celebrate 100 years. Unfortunately, the good old pandemic did play hindrance to that 100 <laughs> years. The actual 100 <laughs> years happened when we were all in lockdown. But we recently celebrated our centenary and we had a fantastic concert with um, Stephen Brooker, yeah. who some might know. Um, he is a um, composer on some really big shows, isn't he, in London? And he's our president, if yep. I'm correct. Yes, he is. And he works um, very closely with Cameron McIntosh. So, you know, we're very lucky to have that connection. Excellent. So, um, so with Cody being a hundred years mm. now, now what was the first show you 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 did say what the, you didn't did you or did oh, you not? Oh, I, I I should really have researched this, but the first show that Cody ever did over a hundred years ago, Ooh. I don't think anybody will even know anymore. Um, it was like it was nothing really famous of the time. Gosh, but don't ask me. It would have been a musical <laughs> thing, wouldn't it? But basically. I can I think say our archives on the on our website are fantastic. So if you would like me to go and research, I guess. <laughs> Oh, we're that'll, so prepared. That'll be for part two. That'll yeah. be for part two, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So, um, okay, um, now you've been going 100 years in Aldershot. You're based in Aldershot. Yes. We are. We yeah. serve quite a big area. I mean, I'm from Reading myself. Um, we've got people coming from Guildford, all Woking, over. Woking. Yeah. But our main sort of area is Fleet, Farnborough, Aldershot. Um, and I think we attract our audiences mostly, surprisingly, actually, from Farnborough. Um, most of our audiences come from Farnborough. But, um, yeah, we do serve quite a big community. We've got a strong membership yeah. on stage and off stage. We're very lucky. Um, and we've recently done some massive shows, which seems to have attracted a huge audience base. We've sold out pretty much our last two shows fully. So we're very, very yeah. fortunate. Yeah. And, and those last two shows were? Oh, Kinky Boots and Grease, um, which are you know fantastic shows in their own right, and they are very much there at the moment, aren't they? They're very much in the in that market, which is yeah. like we want to go and see that because you know you, you just can't go up to London sometimes. You can't afford to go up to London. You're no. just getting the train or actually paying for parking first, getting the train, then going up to London, and of course when you're in London you have to have a meal. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's it's a really expensive uh, day out. So I think you know, and particularly after the you know pandemic when people were nervous about um, going back to the theatre. I think to sort of go to a, a show locally is, was a quite a good step forward. Yeah, because, I mean, obviously London has Victorian theatres and you're sort mm. of squeezed in, basically. Mm. Yeah, I agree, um, yeah. So, yeah, so We were lucky in the sense that um, I think one of the best compliments we heard in the foyer after Kinky Boots was somebody not associated with the company came and said, so where's the touring production going next? Um, and they thought we were a touring production, <laughs> not just a local amateur theatre company, yeah. which I thought was fantastic. That do you do that thing when you do it after you've done a show? Do you run around to the, order, uh, run around to the foyer and listen to the comments oh, as no. they're coming out? Well, that, I think that's one of the jobs of the director because you can kind of lurk in the audience because um, actually during show week, there's very little to do for a director. So... Uh, yeah, it's quite interesting to sit in the audience <laughs> and to pick up uh, some of the comments. So, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let's, let's, we've talked about Cody. Mm. Yeah. Um, and you have, how many people did, uh, at the moment on your, on your books do you have? Oh, As a gosh. membership. membership I, I'd say members at, when we do an email, it goes to well over 250 people. And that varies from performing members to people who are just wanting to be friends of the company. As I say, we've got a really large um, group who perform or sort of work backstage, yep. front yeah. of house. So yeah. with regards to like the community aspect, I know for a lot of us... Um, for me personally, I joined Cody as just a means to meet people. Yeah. And, I, and I think... And now look at you. I know, look at me. I'm part of the furniture now. <laughs> he, he is. He is part of the furniture. Yeah, exactly. So I would say joining Cody for anybody, you know, but particularly I'm, I've, I've travelled from afar and to, to sort of find people that are like-minded people mm -hmm. while still doing an activity that I think we all absolutely love doing. Otherwise we wouldn't... I mean, what sane person's going to get on stage in front of an audience? Um, so I think, you know, it's just great to meet people um and come together twice a week have a bit of a laugh um 
but also working towards something that's really of a high standard as well. I think yeah, something that Cody's something. really important is the standard is really good. We don't yeah. cut costs and things like that, and we attract some really good talent, um, yeah. which is fantastic. You know? But we've been responsible. I say we, Cody's been responsible for many relationships. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. We get down to the gossip now. No, I'm go not on, going go to reveal then. anything. Go on, go on. Anything, no, anything in the latest show? So, yeah. I couldn't possibly comment. <laughs> well, you've, you've been um, a, a long-standing member of Cody, yes, haven't you? I so have. you have seen things change, you know, yeah. shows, shows change. You go from like a musical theatre style, yeah. old-fashioned carousel, and now you're doing a glamour and glitz, mm. you know. Um, so, you yeah. know, that must be quite a, quite a thing for you as well. You know? I think what's so exciting about being a part of Cody is the diverse nature of the shows. You know, um, you know, one minute we can be doing, you know, one of the classics like Singing in the Rain, 42nd Street, which is our next show. But, you know, rent, I mean, how different can you get? Um, and I think, you know, it's challenging for the mm. cast, but it's also, you know, it's it's fantastic because it allows our um, performing members to develop their skills and bring something new to our members uh, and also our audiences as well. I mean, the good thing is, let's talk, let's talk about rent. You've, you mentioned yeah, it. Let's yeah. talk about rent. Now, that's happening in a couple of months' time. It is. It is. Oh, in September. Yeah. yeah. So why did you choose rent? Because it's, it's, it's a bit of an odd one, a bit of an oddball. Yes, it know, is. From what you normally do. You know, I mean, and now going forward after Rent, you've got Priscilla mm. uh, yeah. and then you've got 42nd Street. So and then you've got Rent in the middle. Yes. So, so what was the thinking behind that? Well, I think, to be honest, um, you know, we've been very fortunate and we've had a couple of really very successful shows that have sold out extremely well. Um, and it just allows us to do perhaps something that's a little bit more niche yeah. um, that would attract a different kind of audience than our usual audiences. Um, that's a bit more modern, uh, a bit more edgy. But as I said, to allow our um, performing members to develop some of their skills. And this is very much acting through music. And the music's fantastic. I think also... Um just to chip in there, is that sometimes it's nice to do something that's really meaningful. Yeah, no, and I, I agree. And I think as much as I've been blessed to play some fantastic characters in some of the Cody shows, mm. a lot of it we were talking this morning are caricatures and sort of really over-the-top sort of things that allow me as an actor just to sort of have fun. Whereas I think a show like Rent is actually really challenging for actors to mm. do, to do justice anyway. And yeah. I think for audiences coming to see a show like Rent, they're going to be able to find some connection to a character or characters, a relationship or not. And I think it's far more meaningful. And I think the word you always use in the rehearsal room is you want it to be real. Yeah, that's my favourite expression in this show is keep it real. Yeah. Uh, and that's, as Devon said, that's the most challenging thing to do. It's, it's much easier to portray, a, a, you know, a character that has, you know, fairly extreme uh, levels of their personality but to play a real person and this show it is about real people you know um, Jonathan Larson who wrote this musical uh, wanted to write about the people that lived in his community um, so it is based on real people well that, that's always a good thing that, that's yeah. always a good thing isn't it yeah. I mean you've got the, the there's a few leads but it's a very strong um, chorus. Yes, it definitely is. Chorus, yes, it? it is. So, uh, and partly because of the amazing singing. Mm. Yes. Uh, um, you know, uh, so the chorus really bring the sing singing to the front. Obviously, the, the the lead actors do the singing as well, but it's uh, it's getting those harmonies coming through. Oh, and they, you know, and you know, the the best known song from this show is of is Seasons of Love, and to hear the chorus sing this um, this song is uh, it's. It's stunning. And we were doing a, a song last night, which actually Devon uh, was uh, taking the lead, um, and uh, which is um, I'll Cover You, uh, Reprise. So if you want to kind of uh, look that up on YouTube, it is very emotional, very passionate um, ballad, if you like. But um, that, yes, that brought chillers down my spine. I was going to say, you stopped and paused there, yeah, didn't you? It was so like, it, a, oh, well, <laughs> it, well it, it, it's a moment. For let me, t let for me, me tell you. I, get to, I just get to do the lead part in that, but I got to sit in rehearsal for a long time whilst the ensemble were learning their harmonies last night. And, oh, it is 
outstanding. You know, it, traditionally rent could be done with a small cost of about 12 mm. to 20. You, we're we, really got, lucky. Yeah, we've got about 38 <laughs> in the <laughs> 38. I don't think I've seen rent a lot, um, but I've never seen it done with a large uh, cost. So yeah. that that in itself was a real challenge. But we're doing it on various different levels and it seems to be working really well. And of course, the sound that that number of people brings is is really special. And ticket sales, ticket sales going well at the moment? Ticket sales are going. I think I think um, sign of the times. I think everybody's a bit hesitant at this mm-hmm. at this stage in in the process. I think people are also maybe a little bit wary. It's a slight. I think as Charlotte said, it's a slightly unknown show. But yeah. um, you know, I think if I could just encourage anybody to to get those tickets, um, we are fortunate to perform it at such a lovely venue. It does seat a lot of people as well. It's a big space. It's not yeah. it's not very intimate, but yeah, it is. you know, we we have got a really good reputation for putting on excellent production. So Charlotte's not going to get the cardboard cutouts out and oh, put them no. on the seats. I really hope not. No, no. There's <laughs> no. I no. think I think we're in a good position. I think if people are hesitant because it's not necessarily a show they would naturally book tickets for i would just encourage them to come along i think once you've sat through rent from start to finish you actually appreciate the score and you appreciate the genuine nature of these characters it is a as much as it's not a feel good show in that traditional sense i think when you leave the show you feel changed Mm. you feel like you've been on a journey with those characters and i think that often is more impactful for an audience yes it's joyous i mean it's it's a joyous show it's an uplifting show it's this is all about you know you should live each day as if it's your last um making the most i mean what's the famous line no day but today Mm. yeah um so it's yes you come away it is it deals with some very deep subjects but it's at the end of the day yes it's a very uplifting show and real it's real for the time. People might say it's set in the 80s, 90s, you know, mm. yeah, around well, an issue that maybe... Be careful, some of us lived through yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I was born. I was born in that era. But uh. but um, I think those issues that people say, oh, those are issues of the past. I, yeah. You know, it, it's still the, the themes and, and the relationships that we deal with as, yeah. as the characters are so relevant to the world that we live in today. Um, but there's something in it for everybody. I mean, the music, you know, there's it's a rock musical, but, you know, there's some um, R&B in it. There's um, a beautiful sort of gospel uh, song in it. There's, you know, there's there's lots of different... There's, there's something for everybody. So I think... And you know, dance. I think oh, yes. we've, we've added, a, we've, we've added yes. a lot more choreography to a production of Red yeah. that people might not expect. And that our choreographer has done an outstanding job. How, how do they cope with the choreography? Because the singing's good, the Ooh, actor's good. How do they cope with the choreography? Well... Yes. Well, no, we've got some. We've been always very lucky, actually, with with our dancers, um, and uh, a lot of the chorus seems to handle it very well, don't you? Think? They love the dance. They, they love, love the dance. Everybody's <laughs> begging to dance. Yes. And, and Paul, Ruth, and Charlotte, as the production team, are going. Oh, we can't have thirty-eight dancers. <laughs> we can only have about eight. I know. But um, no, that and and what's really refreshing is it's it's a fresh take on Rent. As I said, yeah. Yeah. The, the production team have worked outstandingly. So you've, you've made it your own. We basically. have. You've given it that Cody effect. Mm. We, we have, and I, also I think we've tried to bring the action much closer to the audience to to make it more intimate so we've got the band on the stage and um, bring you know brought the action really quite close so hopefully it'll be a very visual production and something that people will really get involved with that's great that's I'll, I'll tell you what there are, you know I would love to come and see the show. I mean, I'd love you guys to come. You must come so and see the yeah, show. There are tickets available. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> On the 19th to the 23rd of September. So, yeah. But I, I, I think it would be great if you guys come for your next show you yeah. know, and, and do a similar sort of thing. So, you know, yeah, we, we can get to lovely. know you as, uh, oh, no, we as Co- to. Cody Musical Theatre. And I think um, for anybody who is sitting out there in the community who's umming and ahhing about wanting to join mm. a yeah. theatre company, take that first step you know we've got our our next set of auditions we were talking about 42nd street it's coming up 
um, come along. It is really daunting when you arrive not knowing anybody. But once you've taken that first step, um, we are a very welcoming, I feel, company. And we're looking for all forms of talent. Um, yeah, we're so, very sociable. And, and so, we always go to the pub. I was going to say, the a- Andrams <laughs> always go to the pub yeah. afterwards. It is the law. It is yes, the law. Exactly, yeah. I don't exactly. know why. <laughs> and, and, you know, when you do your, uh, the Saturday, you have you have the matinee. And then you all go out for dinner. Mm-hmm. Or we and have then lots you have, of parties. Then you have yes, the evening. Exactly. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> the social. <laughs> it is definitely the social. I, with, might, I might have to put my foot down with some of the principals in this show. Because otherwise, I don't think they'll make it to the end of the week. Stumbling into the theatre, yeah. Well, it's been great. Great talking to you. It's Thank you. Um, to so uh, obviously the the link will be uh, on this uh, yeah. on this post. So which would be fantastic. So I just got to ask you, okay, if you could put on any show, what would, what would it be? Let's go to Charlotte <gasps> first. What would it be? Chicago. Chicago, fantastic yes. show. Yes, fantastic show. We were very close to actually, um, put, we've done it before yep. years ago when I was fortunate to play um, Ro- Roxy. Um, but uh, we were going to do it fairly recently, but it was pulled because it was going on tour. So that was a bit sad. But I'm hoping that we were, gi- we were given that chance um, in the next few years, maybe. Uh, okay, Devon? Mine's easy. I've got a bit of a... a I'm lucky in the sense that we are doing one of my favourite shows oh, in the not so distant future, yep. but which is Priscilla. Um, but if it wasn't a show that we've currently got lined up, I would love for us to get our hands on Come From Away, which obviously recently closed on the West End. I think yeah. very similar to Rent. It's the type of show that's got um, far more um, depth yeah. to, to the acting, the singing, but also for the audience. It just becomes so much more meaningful. Yeah, it's a good company show as well, isn't it? So yeah. are you going to be glitzing and glamouring to get into uh, for some Priscilla. sequence for Priscilla? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> having, done, having done Kinky Boots, it was a fantastic character, but we've got so much talent at Cody. Yeah. It's going to be a competition for those main parts, but yes, I look forward be. to it. Uh, who looks yes. good in glitter? Yeah. Well, there we go. Thank you very much, guys. And oh, we will very much speak to you soon. Us. Have a good run of your show. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you so much. Thanks. thanks. Hi, everyone. I'm Tammy. And I'm Alex. And we are from SMJ Media Group. We create fun-filled content for local businesses and for you guys to enjoy. If you enjoy our content and would like to see more and let us get more creative, there is a way you can sponsor us at buymeacoffee.com slash SMJ Media Group. And buy us a coffee.